Okay, as you know, I decided to stop the previous video just uh, to keep the time minutes a little bit low so they were easy to upload. So we just started playing Beasts of Maravilla, and it's like a Pokemon Snap type game, and I'm doing a review, actually, not of the game, but of the Razer Opus X wireless headset that Razer just released about a week ago. And I have you guys stationed right inside the little ear cup thing. And so the sound that you're hopefully hearing, um, it's not going to be 100% the same as if you were wearing the headset. Obviously, they're made to be worn on your ears and a lot of sound is escaping. And I'm sure the noise cancellation, if it's even on right now, is not even wor working correctly because... The headphones are meant to be tight against your head and against your ears, uh, but this should give you some idea of the sound. There's no sound really right now in this part of the game. Uh, this is my first time playing the game, so uh, here goes nothing, I guess. Apparently clicking the mouse does not advance dialogue. I have to use the keyboard. And apparently that does nothing. How do we advance dialogue of spacebar? I assume we walk with WASD. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys, so bear with me. We look at that. How do I take a photo? Oh, he left. Oh, that's part of the story. Interesting. And you really need two hands to play this game because I'm also supposed to be using the mouse to turn my camera. Um, I think we take a photo with the E button and, um, okay, there we go. Looks like I just click the mouse button and we took our first photo. And we could zoom in if we push X. There we go. Yay. So I thought there would be more music in this game, actually. Maybe it's just because it's like the tutorial area. So this video is not turning out to be too helpful. At the beginning, there was music and there was a video with a lot of dialogue. So look at my second video. Um, I'm only going to give this a few more minutes. And if there's not some music or something soon, we'll switch to a different game. Or I'll uh, switch to trying to pair this with like my Nintendo Switch custom skin here. I don't like this much hand holding in my games. So I'd rather just get to explore. Oh, that's a flower. Well, there might be something on there. Something blue? No, that's just a flower. I don't know what that is. Mushroom? Oh, well, maybe this flower is something to the. Oh, yeah. So not only do you take pictures of animals in this game, but I guess you take pictures of flowers and all the plants and vegetation. So that, that's actually interesting. No, I wasn't trying to capture that. Ooh, there's a butterfly over there. What about this flower? This is something, isn't it? No, it just keeps getting the beetle. And there's a selfie mode. 
Selfie mode would be more fun if we could customize our character, I think. I mean, it's not bad for an indie game, but there's really no music or anything, it seems like, at least in the tutorial stage. Also, my computer is running hot from this game. I don't know why. I'm not really going to save my game. We'll just go ahead and exit here. All right, what would you like? All right, yeah, whatever. We'll go ahead and save that. Okay, there you guys can hear some music again. Um, let's try one more quick game of something different here, something that I know has a lot of music. Oh wait, I don't want to go to the store. Library. Um, no, that's not a good match either. Alright, Banner Saga had some pretty good music. I've only played the sequel for 9 minutes versus 63 hours on the original. I don't have it installed. You guys don't want to wait around that long. What do I have installed over here? Oh, I know. I do have a visual novel that I think it's called Summer Pockets. I've barely played it, but I know it has good music and a lot of voice acting, so we'll launch that for a few minutes. And I live really close to the road, so I don't think I have noise canceling on, so you can probably hear all of the cars. Whoops, as I bump you guys again. See, the road is right out there. We're actually moving soon. There's my cat. His name's Squeegee. Hi, Squeegee. Okay, so putting you guys back in the little razor earmuff pocket thing. And we're just going to do a new game here because I think that there's a cut scene at the beginning, so.
目指した場所はもう少しもう少しでたどり着けるあの夏に。傷ついた渡り鳥ってあんたが何でどこがおかわいい、right? She's very cute. I think that that was probably more of a mystery in the Japanese language than in English because it sounds exactly like deja vu. So she's obviously talking about deja vu. So this game,、uh, it's by Key. They also make、uh, Clanad Air and、uh, Little Busters,、um, a whole bunch of other visual novels. My favorite one by them is definitely Clanad. Um, I have not watched the anime yet because I've not finished all the routes on、uh, the visual novel, although I do know pretty much what happens because spoilers, but I won't, I won't say in case you haven't played it yet.、Um, so, this is their newest visual novel. I wish that they would bring Air out in English because I think that's one of their better visual novels. It's definitely better than Rewrite. I don't like Rewrite, maybe it's just me. That game didn't do anything for me. And Little Busters, I don't know, it, it was slow, but all of Key's visual novels start out really slow, and then the mystery builds and things get more sad as time goes on. Anyways, this game also doesn't have a whole lot of music. You're hearing ocean waves and some background sound. 
Um, if you watch my, I'm, I think when I upload these, I'm going to call them Razor Opus X Sound Test 1, 2, and 3. So this would be three. If you look at number two, there's some YouTube videos with a lot of bass and music. Um, so I recommend checking that out. Um, I'm going to stop filming this video because we are at the 15 minute mark. And then as promised, I am going to try and pair it with a gaming device here. So uh, we will see how that goes. I'll see you in the next video.